Okay, let's talk about polymer crosslink. It's a five minute biomaterial concept theory. Um, today we talk about how the polymer form the crosslink and why there is crosslink and linear. This concept is uh, easy to understand. Sometimes it's misunderstood by lots of people. So let's start with uh, the regular polymer. So for example, we just see a, a polymer uh, with a, just like a note. I think we should stop that. So let's just see, look at the polymer. We have a, a R and then there is functional group. For example, let's just simply talk about the free radical. Then they should be have a somewhere, somewhere here with a double bound. Okay, with a double bound. And another monomer, still with a double bound. So when free radical come in, remember this is initiator. Okay, initiator in, intake on that, and this bond open. And then this double bond open. And then it can trigger another reaction. We call the chain reaction. Okay, if we, erase that so that means that this bar should be gone this bar should be gone also and then it's from the chain so if you have another r same thing if they have double bound double bound open like that this one is gone and open and the free red code transfer from this one to here okay so this is the free red code transfer from double bound to double bound and there's a whole thing is carbon carbon chain. If you look at that, it's carbon carbon carbon. Okay, so this is chain. And initially the free radical here, and then transfer transfer with one on each monomer getting. So this is the chain growth. Okay, so this is how the chain starts. So in that case, if you have we have another one mon monomer, they happen to have a, another double bond. For example, the double bond is over here. Then this double bond may happen to, to interact and join a part of uh, another chain. And then it's called crosslink. Now we look at the, the traditional PMMA. And this is a methylmethacrylate on this part. And this is polymer because of the, this is a double bond. And there's only one double bond. This is a carboxy group, uh, it won't be polymerized, only the vinyl group can be polymerized. So it's from the chain. The chain will be looked like this. This is uh, just join the upside down way. So this one is a chain. And it's carbon carbon saturated bond and it's a linear chain. Okay. If there is another function, for example, one of this group, they have another double bond. So it's happened to join another chain. So then it's called a cross link. And this part we call the cross linker. If we look at the, this hypothetical structure of polymers, in polymer structure, polymer can be different the unit come in, for example, this will be one chain, this will be another chain. And in the linear, linear like uh, the mixing of spaghetti, it uh, doesn't matter how you stir it, uh, you eventually can separate the one other strand and Noodles, yeah, that is uh, just a linear. However, if you look at the Nash, Nash like this, how this network, no matter how you do that, you cannot separate one string because they have node and they connect together permanently. Same thing in the network polymer structure, it happens with the carbon carbon bond. This bond is a covalent bond, is same thing with the, the bond in the chain. So you cannot see the chain like this way or chain like this way, okay? So chain could be like that. So all this is connected. So you cannot separate, isolate one of the molecules as a, the chain. So it's a 3D structure. Usually we, we found that a 3D structure. And when you hit up, the linear one can be separate so it can be flowable and 3D crosslink. It's not flowable, so there is no melting point. Okay, so melting point doesn't exist in a fully crosslink. 
if you have a lightly cross link, maybe some part can be isolated from the main body and it's still flowable. But if you fully cross link, it's done. It. Then we look at the most of uh, a monomer using for the dental composite resin. First one is BCGMA. This one is methacrylate. This is a double bond methacrylate and the UDMA. EBTMA, all those are double bonds. They have two double bonds in that, so this is called a dimethacrylate. Dimethacrylate, so that means that there are two methacrylates and two double bonds. So in that case, when we, when we write down that, as we, we said earlier, if you have double bonds and just mix it in internal part with R, Okay, so this is a double bond. If there is free radical, this one will be open. And then you have another R come in. Okay, you join together. And so R1, R2, R3. It could be the same monomer or different monomer. Okay, so you join like that. Someone may think about if you have R1 with a one double bond and double bond. So, and R2, so double bond reacts with double bond. Okay. So for example, this one, they form an R1, R2, R3. So this is not a free radical reaction because free radical is only the free radical react with double bond and it become a single bond plus a free radical. And then you can react with another double bond. Okay. So the free radical couldn't transfer from one end to the other one. It's called arrangement. Arrangement in these large molecules is wouldn't happen. So once free radical happen here, it's always transferring this end, and this one is hanging around. Definitely, this one will participate in another chain as we talked earlier. So then you have a quite a lot highly crosslink because all these monomers are dimethacrylate, and it's fully crosslink if the degree conversion is high. However, in the reality, in the dental clinic, our free radical reaction cannot be completed. It would be around like a 50%-ish in clinic. In the lab, if we do very well, we can probably get 80 to 85% maximum. That is the maximum, okay? Because uh, the high viscosity and the tangling of the chain, there are always some double bonds in the chain structures of the end in the network, you cannot get completely a fully 100% cross-link, 100% degree of conversion. And however, right now there are some other monomers that people are developing, use different the technology to improve the degree of conversion. The residue of a, a double bonds in the composite have a, some problem. We all know that it probably absorb some, some phenol group, uh, be discoloration and all generate the free radical and in, incur some degeneration of the polymer. Then in that case, it create the mechanical property or have a, the bonding problem. So hope this will clear the concept of a cross-link of the polymer.